Watch and learn while I teach you how to draw your pet by drawing my dog Pepper. Now I'm teaching you first from a photograph because it's a little bit easier than drawing from the live thing, which I have right now. That's my darling little Pepper. She's 13 and a half and she moves around, not as much as she used to, <laughs> but she's sweetie girl. She's right here in my studio. She sits uh, right behind my chair, but I have this photograph of her. This is from when we smuggled her into a hotel uh, because we couldn't find a place to stay New Year's Eve. <laughs> it's a long story. Um, I just like this. I thought it would be good to teach you because it's pretty simple. We have a simple background. Um, we have a yeah, relatively simple foreground. We're going to simplify it. And I just think it's a, a nice composition. Okay, so this is what we're going to be using. I've got pencils. Now to start out, when I do my sketch, I'll be using an HB. Now HBs are, this is gonna be my lightest one that I'll be using. So it's good to kinda put things um, where you need them. And when you mess up, if you mess up. Um, I love this stick eraser. One of my favorite things. And these woodless pencils are also wonderful. Um, okay, in addition to the HB, we have a 4B, a 6B, and a 9B. So the 9B will be very dark. And let's get started. As you can see, I made an outline on here that is proportional to this. Okay, now this is six by eight. I used an old fashioned proportion wheel to make it go up to um, nine by 12, which is proportional. Okay, so I'm going to be doing this freehand. And so as I do this, you can refer to some of my videos that will teach you how to draw from scratch. This is a little bit more of an intermediate video for people who have already learned to look for um, uh, relationships between lines and shapes but my beginner's videos are all about learning to see those lines and shapes. So it may be worth it for you to go back and take a look at those if you are a beginner. Okay, so I'm looking at where this is exiting. It's not quite to the halfway mark. It's a little bit above it. And if I had to choose a halfway mark on here, it'd be right here. So I'm thinking that's about right there. Now don't really care about this background that much. Much more important to lay in the dog. So the ear is coming up there. Got another ear. If I had to you know, lay this on here, see that the slight angle? See, you can get that angle there. Okay. So, I'm going to, right now, this is all about figuring out where she sits in the space. Okay, and I'm just barely putting lines on here. Okay.
Okay, so I want to kind of look at the full head. I've got light coming in, which is a little bit distracting. Light's coming in the blinds. figure out her position in the entire picture. Here I'm noticing, here's the halfway point, here's the halfway point here, that foot is at that angle, so that foot could go over a little bit more, so I know I'm a little off over there, I can make that correction. This is the time to do that, early on. a little awkward for me because normally I would tilt this up uh, where I'm looking straight at it and my artwork, at the photograph and the artwork, but um, I've got the camera kind of in the way. Okay. So she actually has a line. Normally I'd say, oh, well, go ahead and just do that line. Hers actually is kind of a dividing line there.
Oh. Trying to get a sufficient amount of neck blub in there. We just love her neck blub. I do not like my neck blub, but her neck blub is adorable. with my neck club, I would not be amused. Okay, so I'm taking a look at this right here. Kind of looking at triangles. This is kind of a triangle, narrow triangle, the ears a triangle. bit too large. I do like her ears.
Okay, I am going to stop there. I'm not going to put in the shadow and that background there uh, because I think it's going to help the dog um, come forward and the background would just um, distract from the focal point. So, um, as usual, I will put this away and come back and look at it tomorrow and see what I think and make little adjustments. Okay, it is the next day and I have gotten my artwork out and taken a look at it. So I've enhanced uh, the eyes a little more and uh, this area down through here. I've darkened the tips of the ears a little bit. I changed that. Uh, this right here was distracting the way it was before it cut across here. So um, I worked on that a little bit. I like how it now kind of forms more of an arrow up toward the focal point. And sometimes it's hard to stop a drawing once you start it. But I think I'm done. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. It is absolutely free for you to subscribe, so help out not only me, but all your favorite YouTube channels. Thank you.